65 million years ago, the Mesozoic era ended in the end of Cretaceous extinction, and the dinosaurs and so much of the Mesozoic life became extinct. In the aftermath of the Cenozoic era, what is often referred to as the age of mammals, the world became more and more like the way we see it today. The continents were moving and were approaching their modern positions, although South America and North America would only be joined uh, about four million years ago, and India had not yet joined uh, to Asia when the Cenozoic began. While flowering plants, the angiosperms, had become common by the end of the Cretaceous, most modern groups had not yet evolved. In the Cenozoic, in the aftermath of the extinction, flowering plants diversified greatly and came to dominate most habitats on Earth, ranging from tropical rainforests to temperate forests to grasslands. When the meat-eating dinosaurs became extinct, Earth had lost its largest land predators. A group of birds known as terror birds evolved to briefly fill this ecological niche, and for a while, six-foot-tall predatory birds were the dominant predators on Earth. Some of these would survive in South America for a long period of time, and even briefly uh, reach North America when North and South America would join. The first mammals were small and probably primarily nocturnal, and many mammals today still continue to be small and primarily nocturnal. Rodents make up close to 40% of mammalian species alive today. At first, there were not many of the rodent groups uh, that we know of today, such as squirrels and rabbits, etc. These groups evolved slowly over time. During this history, there were a number of groups of rodents which are no longer alive today, such as horned rodents from South America and 10-foot-long beavers uh, from North America. In South America, some rodents reached enormous sizes, the sizes of cattle or small hippos. Today, the largest rodents, also from South America, are pig-sized, the capybaras.